We have breaking news tonight. The Greenville County Finance Committee voted not to allow the county administrator to negotiate a deal that would have brought a new stadium for the Greenville Triumph. Team owner Joe Irwin says he's disappointed but not discouraged by the decision. He says tonight's vote does not kill the stadium project, but it will, quote, change the nature of its project and its proposed uses, end quote. Well, clear skies mean temperatures will cool down quickly, but with clear skies, you'll have a treat in the sky tonight. Let's send things over to meteorologist Sydney Sullivan with more. Yeah, with all of the sunshine and quiet weather, it's we've had the last few days. It's perfect for any stargazers, especially as we get into the next night or so. So Wednesday, February 16th marks the next full moon, which is also called the snow moon. Now there's various reasons on why it might be called that, but given that February is typically speaking the snowiest month for most, it makes sense. So the moon will appear full from Tuesday through Thursday night, weather permitting. And on top of the full moon, if you are up before sunrise on Wednesday, you could also see Venus, Mercury, and Mars in the sky. Now, as far as our weather goes, tomorrow looks to be the best night to see the full moon. Our skies will be very visible, but although warmer temperatures and more comfortable conditions move in Wednesday, Wednesday night through Thursday, that's when we bring that wet weather headed our way. Not going to be the best viewing conditions to see the full moon. So if you want to do so, grab the binoculars, head outside once the sun sets tomorrow or even tonight for Valentine's Day. And you'll have great viewing conditions and you can enjoy at least the quiet weather before the rain returns later this week. We want to make sure that every child in Anderson County is successful. Still to come, how that success starts with what's on their plates. Right now, the United Way of Anderson County is helping make sure students who need an extra meal on the weekends have access to it. Volunteers spent their morning packing food bags for its weekend snack pack program. Each bag goes to a student before they leave school on Friday, making sure they don't go hungry before returning to the classroom. The nonprofit says it relies on its buy a box fundraiser to keep the program going each year. One of the ways we thought we could help elementary age students prepare for learning was to ensure that they had food over the weekend. Every bag will receive one encouraging note prepared by a volunteer. This one just happens to say you're a superstar. 
The fundraiser runs through March 1st. Organizers say any amount donated will go directly to the program. A popular downtown Greenville restaurant is relocating. Valentine's Day diners will be some of the last to enjoy Rick Irwin's Nantucket Seafood in its current spot on West Broad Street. No word yet where the restaurant will move, but the CFO says he'd like for it to stay downtown. A staple in downtown Spartanburg announced it's closing its doors permanently today. Growler Haas posted the announcement on its Facebook page. File video here from when uh, Poppy's Tacos opened, a lunch space within the bar in 2016. It didn't offer an explanation, but we're told the other locations across the upstate are not affected. A beautiful day across town. We've got clear skies from the upstate to the mountains in northeast Georgia. That means temperatures are cooling quickly. You can see from our SkyCam networks, uh, we're heading down into the 40s quickly tonight. Right now we're at 40 degrees in Asheville, 55 in Greenville, and 52 in Anderson. Looking ahead toward tomorrow morning, you'll want the heavy coat. We're talking 20s pretty much widespread across the area, but low 20s in the mountains. And that's one of those nights you really want to bring the pets indoors. You just kind of take it extra easy because that kind of chill is quite dangerous. Uh, 31 degrees first thing in the morning in the upstate by 7 a.m. and then we're into the middle 50s, almost a carbon copy of what we had today. Uh, mostly sunny skies, really just a beauty of a day. In the mountains, we'll see temperatures start off in the low 20s there and warm up just a tick warmer than you had today, closer to 50 degrees, which will be nice. 51 in Asheville, 51 in Hendersonville, and 57 in Greenville. Looking in closer to Greenville County, of course, it'll be a little bit colder in the northern part of the county. Caesars Head, 48 degrees for taking a hike. 53 in Taylor's down the Golden Strip from Malden, Simpsonville, and Fountain Inn, all right where we should be this time of the year in the middle 50s. Let me show you when things begin to change here for us. So the next couple of days are cool, but as we go into Wednesday, our wind coming out of the south, that'll begin to inch the temperature up just a bit, and that comes with a price to pay this time, and it's a chance for some spotty showers. Late Wednesday, I'm talking 10, 11 o'clock, maybe some spotty rain showers here and there. And even when you wake up on Thursday, not all of us seeing the rain, it's going to progressively get rainier as the day goes on Thursday. So think four, five, six o'clock. Your morning drive uh, may be okay, but your afternoon commute back home will be very wet on Thursday. And this is when the heaviest rain begins to set in. And we're talking a quick hit of some heavy rain. Thursday evening, 11 o'clock, going into the overnight hours while we're sleeping into Friday morning here by 8 a.m. Most of this starting to push out of our area and clearing skies move our way progressively on Friday. So though we start off wet Friday, it'll get better as the day goes on. When it's all said and done, a solid inch looks to be a good bet across the area with some of the upslope areas here in western North Carolina, northern Pickens County, northern Oconee County, closer to two inches. So it's a quick hit of some very heavy rainfall, and then we're right back to it. Warm air favored in the extended forecast here. I keep showing you this just to show you if it changes or not. Well, this week's set to be above average as a whole, and then next week as well. Let me show it to you. The four day looks like this 56 degrees tomorrow, our last day below normal. By Wednesday, we're at 58 degrees with increasing clouds, some late day showers, and certainly some heavy rain on Thursday. I've issued an impact day for that. Most of Friday is dry, 61 degrees, and then we're smooth sailing right into the weekend with all those temperatures being at or above normal. Beauty of a weekend on the way for you in the mountains as well after that very rainy Thursday. Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford all smiles after his team's Super Bowl win. Coming up, what the former Georgia player had to say after winning his first world title. Plus, you'll hear from Wofford baseball coach Todd Interdonato ahead of the Terriers season opener on Friday. Right now, we're gathering the latest from Ukraine, where the U.S. is moving its embassy in advance of an anticipated Russian invasion. Also, the mission to launch civilians the farthest into space since the moon landings. We'll tell you more tonight on NBC Nightly News.